Hi everyone, thanks for checking out my uh, channel. I'm going to do the midweek uh, checkup and see what's, gonna, what's happening uh, on uh, commodities, uh, what happened over the last uh, few days, and what we could have ahead of us. Uh, so let's get started with uh, WTI. Uh, WTI, so as I said over the weekend, um, and unfortunately I picked the wrong uh, plan, accumulating short under 41. Uh, that was definitely the wrong move. Uh, I'm back now to the previous plan I had. Um, that was about a week ago, previous weekend, when I was talking about the the wolf uh, wave that was um, in uh, in the in the making. Uh, and uh, I know I believe this is definitely valid. So we look at uh, that top here. We got one point at 40, down to 34, up to uh, 41, now down to. 39 and with the final target on the daily 200 ma at 43 plus uh, somewhere so i think we are in the last leg of that move and i'm going to play long uh, here uh, on the breakout here at 41 i exited short position waited for the pullback and open long position uh, roughly at 41 i did start accumulating a little bit before 41 uh, and now i'm gonna leave that trade running until we reach the target uh, 43. We still have the 20 MA on the daily chart, so if you look there, it's a bit more obvious. Uh, we're having the, the uh, 20 MA in support at 40 now, which is making it for a really uh, interesting trade up to 43, potentially a bit higher. We'll see that. Um, and of course, the target uh, later when we uh, play the trade, uh, the short position a bit higher will be uh, from somewhere there on the breakout here and meeting the target between 0.1 and 4 of the wolf wave so we'll be sitting at 37 potentially for the correction which I believe uh, is will also be some interesting uh, Fibonacci level I uh, think we are talking about let's say we're going uh, down here down to the bottom so yeah you you're looking at the 78.6 um, level, Fibonacci level for 37, but that will be for later. Of course, we'll need some proper uh, setup to enter short at that level uh, and make sure that we actually uh, get into some relatively safe trade. But for now, um, I'll stick to the long uh, position as I believe we are going that way uh, and zooming in again. We might be uh, playing a little bit. Uh, above 41 again, uh, potentially struggling a bit to break above 42.5. Uh, I have some pullback on that trend line 41 1 until we actually break for good, a bit higher until 43. So that would look something like this. Then we will definitely struggle to break higher, but uh, yeah, we, we will see that. Uh, we've seen today the inventory had no impact on the price despite being relatively bearish um, but I think at that point uh, the market is just in the final leg up and it will push to that level because it's just not interesting to short from that level and there's no major news uh, outside that are actually justifying major short. Of course should we actually pull back lower and start breaking uh, the 40 level, then it would be a different story and we could accelerate the downside very quickly but uh, I don't believe that's the, the favorable uh, option at that point. Um, now looking at uh, natural gas, uh, natural gas played out quite nicely so far, uh, still on the short side, so we're having that down uh, trend channel that we are uh, moving in at the moment, so we had that some sort of a flag, uh, bear flag here that got somehow invalidated, so I believe we are going to reach uh, a bit of a higher level potentially getting to the 4 hours 50 ma so 172 or 171 could be the um, some sort of a limit before we resuming the move down um, from here i'm still having the same target closing that gap at uh, 154 and very likely extends extending this to 152 at that point we will see what we get Should we actually set up some nice divergence uh, on a major time frame such as the daily so of course these levels are not correct but uh, as for the divergence we should see be able to see something interesting but 
again I don't don't really know um, if that will be the last the law this year and if that will be the entry point for uh, playing along a bit um, some sort of a rally pre-winter a little bit early but still sending at uh, July so yeah let's uh, let's wait for this but for now in my opinion until we actually break convincingly about 180 we are still in the downtrend uh, some momentum still building up uh, no reason for me to actually change that um, and uh, um, and uh, yes I believe entry point if not in position yet for short could be at 170 one uh, I'll be looking at probably entering last short position day uh, and, uh, and let the trade uh, run lower uh, so yeah um, major market I've been uh, involved in is of course uh, silver at the moment a very interesting pattern we having uh, major breakout uh, at the 21 uh, level we got um, actually the main breakout was actually the one at 20 I uh, was looking for an entry point and actually didn't really get it uh, right here so missed that move unfortunately uh, but yeah that happens getting a bit too conservative with the entry points and uh, not wanting to expose too much uh, silver is a little bit of a very volatile market so to be really careful it can move uh, both ways really quickly but I believe now the uptrend is definitely set uh, and uh, since we broke out this uh, we know uh, working around the 23 level uh, and building up some nice consolidation uh, similarly to uh, WTI uh, but on a lower uh, time frame uh, we are starting to see some um, divergence building up on the RSI and not to be uh, missed um, confronted with any uh, potential reversal like in WTI was actually accumulation and uh, support and usually yeah, the divergence will happen because the momentum is dropping but not uh, in anticipation of any reversal but more in some sort of a consolidation before breaking higher so disregarding this uh, I did actually uh, play uh, trading that move down here as the uh, the setup was really nice uh, here with that divergence very short term uh, of course solid uh, solid um, as when we arrive at that level and seeing some buying uh, pressure and re-entering a uh, long position here so at this point expecting a bit more of uh, some consolidation here uh, we are moving on the one hour chart because this is going so fast but we are probably going to bounce back a little bit more here before making another breakout and the next leg up the next target would be 25 uh, might not get there straight but uh, that's that will be the target then we have in 26.8 and above that it, it can go extremely high of course uh, keeping stop loss in check uh, because it can move both ways really quickly but I believe now it's into the some sort of uh, really strong speculation up and we can see that any move down are actually bought back really quickly uh, that uh, and all these weeks we're having on the red candles they're pointing to uh, attempt to break higher rejected but bought back straight away and we can see we're making a uh, higher low as we're moving alongside that triangle here so the breakout will happen very soon and can go of course very high this is very uh, positive to have that kind of build up we set up nice uh, support zone here uh, for the move to continue higher so very good uh, and silver same with platinum and gold are uh, set to probably have a major rally rally over that uh, summer and august should be really promising for all the precious metals and uh, finally moving to coffee uh, another market I was looking at for that configuration of cup and endo uh, that's usually a powerful reversal figure um, we got the breakout of uh, 104 today uh, unfortunately I wasn't in the trade uh, not because I didn't want to or anything like this but just simply because I had all my cash engaged on other trades uh, and I did free up some cash for this but uh, it didn't came available quick enough so no I missed that trade but I believe this is not the end yet uh, we broke this from that level uh, so I think the trend line is not displayed properly here and one hour should adjust uh, yeah so we having the target at 116 should we actually stay inside that down trade channel of course if we're breaking this it's a completely different story and the change of trend quite significant but not there yet um, I'm expecting at that point some pullback 
uh, not actually because of any we have any now we don't have any significant uh, reversal uh, that could actually happen but I believe we might actually go down and touch the uh, 20 MA it looks a little bit lower at 104 but uh, yeah with coffee we never know we can move uh, both sides really quickly uh, should we retest 104 it would be a really great opportunity to re-enter long position uh, otherwise just careful not following in uh, as it can reverse quickly uh, the RSI on the hourly is that uh, it's cooling off at the moment uh, just checking if we can draw some sort of uh, support trend line on the RSI that we could use as a reference and entry point uh, so it's sitting quite far away now so from that move 80 should we cool off to the 50s again that would probably take us to 104 so potentially uh, could have that new chance to re-enter that trade at 104 uh, that could be uh, that would be great uh, potentially on tomorrow we'll see that that would be still some uh, serious correction so yeah not entirely convinced that will happen uh, otherwise we may have some other intermediate level at 106 potentially for another entry uh, so we'll check that uh, on tomorrow so yeah that's about it for uh, this week uh, I'll do some other video uh, over the weekend uh, if you're not uh, part of the channel uh, you can subscribe uh, like it if you found it useful uh, and uh, yeah if you have any comments please share uh, there's some very useful comments I'm actually using uh, for my trades as well uh, technical and some stuff that I missed uh, as well uh, so please share uh, this is trying to benefit for all everything we know and nobody knows everything so it's great to share I mean some sort of um, place where we can actually uh, put ideas and, and confront them and see what can be working and what can not be working uh, and uh, yeah definitely very useful so thanks for your feedback and uh, see you soon uh, wish you safe trading and success Cheers, bye